Exactly, it's your boy Shell Shock, and today I'm gonna show you a part that I'm gonna install on my Honda PCX160. Last time I posted a video about carbon hydrogen visor. Thank you for all the people that watch, and I'm gonna be posting more videos about my scooter and my motorcycle journey. Actually, this is my YouTube personal account for my personal blogs. Nothing related to mini four wheel drive. It's just my random blogs about punk rock, a motorcycle, cars, tattoo, basketball, anything on my everyday life. But today we are going to talk about and I'm going to show you that I'm going to install this breather catch tank or breather catch can for some people they may call it. But this is um, Windrush Wind from Japan. I ordered it from We Bike Japan. And if you guys are wondering why did I order this, this is going to be installed on my PC, Honda PCX160 and it's gonna replace the, the dipstick that you put on your scooter when you put uh, engine oil in it for your oil change and everything so I love this catch can because this is unique this is what it looks like by the way there are some breather catch tank in uh, Amazon but I don't like it because there's some holes and there's some water that comes into it so before I show you guys how I install it how I put it in my CX-160. I'm gonna tell you guys what's the purpose of having breather catch tank or catch can for some people. Well, it's in the box by the way is their hoses and I have all the brackets that I need that I'm gonna show you later. But the purpose of having a catch tank is why did I get this is one because it looks really cool to have it. That's just one of the reason and um, it looks like an extra exhaust system which is you know some people think it's too much or fancy but two also improvement on the performance of the scooter mind you this is not only for a pcx 160 scooter you can put some uh, breather catch tank too on gy6 scooters 50 cc scooters 160 so on so forth it doesn't matter as long as your your scooter is actually have a specific part you can go check out windrush windrush win if you're from japan if you are interested with the, with this stuff so two this makes an performance so let's say you put an oil you put oil on your scooter on the engine of your scooter because you do your your regular oil change in certain miles um and you said let's say we, you make a mistake that you put too much oil so when the oil rises up when the engine starts to heat up um there will be so much pressure on the engine and uh, the oil, the excess oil will spit. It will spit through the hose going to your air filter. And if it goes to your air filter, it gets wet. Sometimes there's like oil, dark oil, it gets wet and then it's useless because that filter, when it's wet, it's not gonna be as, you know, it will not do its purpose on a normal basis because it's gonna get wet. And also the pressure will be way too much. The purpose of this is if you put this, the pressure from that engine oil will be free flowing because this is open. One of the like with this with this specific catch can is one, there's like a there's a wool filter inside. You know, it's like a what do you call that? It's like a steel wool filter. If you go if you, I don't know if you guys are going to see, but inside there is a wool filter. So whatever that comes out there, it's going to be filtered. Or whatever goes in, it sucks. It will. I, I don't think anything will go in because it's closed. The difference between other brands are their soles in there, you know. But this one is actually really good because it's underneath and I don't think any water will go through there. So it will not mix on your oil. So because there's hole there free flow flowing and there will be no there will be no pressure too much pressure on your engine and then your engine will run smoothly which means it will improve your acceleration and the accelerator will improve because of the flow of the oil is free flowing and there's no too much oil going out going to your air filter because when your air filter gets messed up obviously it sucks air going to your engine of your scooter and if there's oil in there, that's no good. I mean, I mean, not too much oil is not probably gonna affect, but due to prolonged period of time, there's gonna be a lot of oil there, and you know that will affect the scooter, the longevity of the scooter. 
or the engine through time. So that's the reason why I bought this. And also I told you guys, it's really cool. So I have the website here on my other phone and they're actually saying what's gonna affect on the performance. It says the effect on the performance is that the pressure generated in the crank is released to the outside rotation resistance of the crank is reduced so that the rotation of the engine blows up smoothly and the response is improved and the body operation by the accelerator is improved. Basically, it is design oriented product so extreme performance effect cannot be obtained. All right, so the question is, let's say, are you, is your scooter gonna be faster and there's gonna be a drastic change on your scooter if you put this? The answer is no, but it will actually make your engine you will say like it will be more it's not it's not as stressed you know if you want to simplify it your your engine is not as stressed you will not have a drastic change on your performance but there will be a change on the performance and it will improve the the performance of your scooter when you use this um one thing uh that on my research and my study Correct me if I'm wrong through the comments that if I put this, that means the pressure of the oil, as I've said, will be loosened up. It's going to be smooth going up. The oil from the engine will spit up going through the, that filter. You know where you put your hat, you have your filter on your scooter, which I'm going to show you later. Is there is like a, there's like a tube there that goes connected to the, to the air filter or maybe an intake that you have if you upgraded to intake like mine um there's still oil residue that can go there and then on my next video we are gonna put a catch can that will catch all all that oil so there will be a hundred percent no oil going to your oil oil filter but that's gonna be a next video but for now i'm gonna show you how to put install this catch can we're gonna go down and i'm on my scooter obviously i'm gonna get all my tools and we are going to install this um if you're interested in this item i'm gonna put it on the description uh you'll be the judge if you want to buy it if you want to try it but i'm making this video to help people out you know for, about scooters and i think this will be a good upgrade for my scooter so let's put it in let's go so guys this is the one that i'm talking about earlier the catch can will go right here and that's the dipstick that dipstick will be replaced this dipstick will be replaced with a host going to the catch breather catch tank and because there's a hole on the breather catch tank the flow of the oil there will be no pressure on the crank and there will be more acceleration on the accelerator going up to the crank and it will not spit any any oil right here because I already changed my air box with the intake so it will not spit any oil over there I mean it will be lessened as much as possible so as I've said earlier in my next video I will have a catch tank that will actually attach on this hose so all the residue will actually not go to my filter so it will not go to my engine make sense all right let's do this in order to start start that obviously we need some tools we need this eight millimeter um allen wrench so we can remove that bolt and put our catch tank and we can install these bolts and then we can install this bracket we have the hose and obviously the tube that we're going to replace that dipstick we got we got the bracket right here so I'm thinking maybe if we're still gonna use the bracket I'm not sure it'll be right here or maybe we can put it a little higher here so we can put it here that will look cooler I think. And it goes like this so let's see what we can do. First, let's try to remove this. 
unique player in bracket right here. See if it's like long enough to support our exhaust. I have a Yoshimura Cyclone, Ben Cyclone, by the way. I have this for a couple of months now. damage stuff when installing it So it looks like an extra exhaust. This works. That's what it's gonna look like. Try to see, have a clear visual of how we want it to look. Number 14 wrench. Let's do this. how I like it. I read it. I already like in the look. There you go. So you can see I already like in the look of it. Alright, let's just try to put the hose now. Alright, so I already take I already taken off the dipstick from there. So we're gonna replace it with this. This would be the replacement for your dipstick. Make sure you put all the o rings. So we need a 17 so we can tighten it up. This tool. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna put this to tie it up. We'll put the hose. Make sure that's gonna be all the way in right there. Then if it's all the way in, we're gonna start tightening it up. So there's really no it's really secure, you know. Alright, so now that that is nice and snug right there you guys can see we're gonna do the same thing right here right here I'm gonna put it here all right so we are going to put this now Make sure you got that all the way in all the way in all the way in nice and tight Snug fit like this. There you go. 
Nice. Flat screw. Let's tighten it up. And that's how you look. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. There you go. Let's see if you can see. It's nice and tight right there. Let's see if we get a better view. And now that's how the breather is gonna work. And of course, for the final outcome, we'll put the logo. And that's what it looks like now. All right. I'm gonna move this bike, and we have we're gonna have like a shot around it. Here we go. Yep, so that's about it. This is our breather catch tank from Windrush Japan, Windrush Wind Japan. Um, I'm gonna put a catch tank, a catch tank on the other side, like I've said for the next video. Right here, I keep mentioning it. I'm gonna remove that and so the oil doesn't go to our air, air filter or exhaust. So again, guys, this is Shell Shock, and I'll see you for the next scooter or motor blog. Peace.